The digital transformation continues to have a strong impact on our day-by-day -day life and has led to radical changes in almost every part of the global economy and society. Artificial intelligence is at the heart of this transformation and that is why I'm particularly happy to speak at this occasion today. So the term AI covers technologies that are already in widespread use, those that are currently under development as well as speculative inventions that might exist in the future. That is why artificial intelligence is constantly associated with fear of the unknown as something uncontrollable. However, it is really a tool to help us analyze data at a speed that humans would simply never be able to accomplish. What we really need to do if we want to remain competitive in a global sphere is to focus on the benefits of AI and use those to our advantage. First, AI and machine learning can unlock solutions in the health sector that could save millions of lives, improve our standards of living and bring a competitive edge to the European ICT sector. AI is already being used to detect diseases through real-time pattern recognition and to individualize drug development to patient needs. By focusing on quality data in the health sector, AI can help us defeat diseases such as cancer. Second, AI can support our efforts towards a climate-neutral society and become more resource and energy efficient. For instance, through autonomous public transport based on AI, locations and timetables for pickup can be optimized to consumer needs, thus cutting unnecessary destinations. AI can further help optimize waste management, electricity supply, as well as agriculture. Third, AI is a game changer for the competitiveness of the EU industry as it increases productivity, makes manufacturing and end products safer as well as more sustainable and helps to increase the resilience of European supply chains. However, although AI is of strategic relevance, most innovation still takes place outside of Europe and thus the EU misses its chance to use any of these potentials. Only 7% of the European companies are currently using AI technologies. None of the global top 15 digital companies is a European one. The EU's digital infrastructure is underdeveloped with just 25% of EU citizens being able to connect to a 5G network compared to 76% of the US. Also, the investment gap towards the US with 31 billion euro in private investments and China with 21 billion euro has even grown further. In addition, a several problem that AI developers in the EU face is access to high quality data to train their algorithms due to a general lack of interoperable data spaces and cross-border data flows. Moreover, 42% of the EU population is lacking basic skills, digital skills and AI talents and research is increasingly leaving the EU to more attractive destinations in the US or in Asia, or to Asia. If we do not act now, the EU will lose its entire competitive edge to the US and Asia. 
likely to become a data colony with a version of AI that completely disregards our norms and our values. And this is not only concerns our welfare and competitiveness, but also our security, our democracy and our health. Instead, we need to take the lead in shaping a trustworthy and human-centered version of AI where we use the benefits of AI to the advantage of our society and make AI made in Europe a competitive standard. In order to achieve that, we need to solve three remain problems. Legal certainty, the necessary infrastructure and most of all access to data. First, with a clear legal framework that focuses on high-risk applications and does not over-regulate parts of AI before we even know how it will be applied, we can determine the development of AI based on our ethical standards. Legal certainty also requires full harmonization of a digital single market. And not only do we need to finally harmonize all existing rules, we need to make sure that all future proposals are equally implemented in the EU member states, as digitalization knows no borders. That way we can achieve a real level playing field. Second, infrastructure requires fast digital rollout strong investments and the guidance, especially for startups. In addition, we need the right infrastructure for retaining talent as well as education in digital and AI skills. And third, we need access to data. Our current legislative framework, mainly the GDPR and its application, actually hinders the development of many AI-based technologies due to its provisions. While the GDPR is a landmark legislation for data protection that set global standards, many people seem to forget that you can have both innovation as well as high privacy protection standards. Possibilities of data anonymization and pseudonymization as well as possibilities of voluntarily donating data are currently not legally sound and thus barely used. This type of overregulation holds us back in a global race. AI is way too often presented as a threat. While we do need sufficient safeguards, we need to look at its potential and the chances we have to use it to the good for all. We need to change and re that requires a change of mindset. And I hope we can all go with it with a change of my mindset. Thank you very much.